As a fluffy Pomeranian with a keen eye for cinema and the occasional squirrel, I must confess, Bob Marley One Love left me feeling more befuddled than a poodle at a cat show. Poodle, huh? Yeah. This flick is like a chew toy that's lost its squeak. Oh, squeak. Oh, squeak. Oh, squeak. Lots of gnawing, but no satisfying payoff. First off, let's address the elephant in the room. Well, the dreadlocks in this case. Bob Marley's iconic hair seems to have a life of its own in this film, flopping about like a pack of unruly puppies at a dog park. Take us to the dog park! Frankly, it's more distracting than a mailman walking by during nap times. I hate that man. He comes over here, here, take the mail. Kingsley Benadire as Bob Marley? More like Kingsley Benadire as Bob Marley in a Halloween costume. I've huh? seen more convincing portrayals at a doggy daycare's talent show. The talent show is this Friday. And don't get me started on the portrayal of Rita. Lashana Lynch deserves better than to be relegated to the role of a glorified dog walker. And bam! There you are, in bed with the neighbor's dog walker! In the plot, we're trotting along with Bob Marley, the legendary reggae hound, as he navigates the rocky terrain of his life. It is my life. From his puppyhood in Jamaica to his rise to musical stardom. Feeling it one drop. The movie tries to sniff out every corner of his journey. But instead of a clear path, we're left chasing our tails through a maze of confusing flashbacks and disjointed scenes. And I had this drunken flashback. Bob's childhood woes are thrown at us like a tennis ball at a retriever, his absentee father, his struggles with bullies, and his introduction to Rastafarianism are all mashed together like a mutt in a mix-up. It's like trying to fetch a ball in a room full of squirrels, chaotic and ultimately fruitless. It's a little bit fruitless because it's out there. As Bob grows into adulthood, we're treated to a howling chorus of marital discord with Rita, his longtime companion. Danger is my companion. Their relationship is like a game of tug of war with Bob's infidelities pulling them apart faster than a chew toy in the jaws of a Great Dane. That is not a chew toy! But instead of digging deeper into their struggles, the movie brushes them aside like yesterday's kibble crumbs. Save the crumbs! The climax of the film, the One Love Peace concert, is supposed to be the crowning moment, the big bark that brings it all together. All tied up in a bow for you. But instead, it falls flat like a deflated tennis ball. The political tensions and gang violence swirling around the concert are treated with all the gravitas of a game of fetch gone awry. What concert? Sure, there are moments where the music shines brighter than a fire hydrant on a sunny day, but even the catchiest tunes can't mask the fact that this movie is as directionless as a lost beagle. Yes, we lost a dog. And let's not forget about Bob's battle with skin cancer, which is glossed over like a coat of paint on a fence. You paint big bad Shut bad. up, PA! His refusal to seek treatment is portrayed as stubbornness rather than the tragic oversight it truly was. It's like watching a puppy chew on a dangerous toy, frustrating and heart-wrenching all at once. But your dog is chewing my pillow. While Bob Marley, one love may leave you scratching your head like a confused pup, don't let that dampen your tail-wagging spirit. Dive into Yogi Sinsta's fetching collection of movie-inspired merch, including t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs. With each purchase, you're helping us develop more movie reviews from a dog's perspective. So, bark up the right tree and fetch your Yogi's Insta gear today. In the end, Bob Marley, One Love, left me feeling more puzzled than a mutt at a cat convention. Um, there's this, this convention. For a better time, skip this cinematic dog breakfast and fetch yourself a copy of the Marley documentary instead. Your tail will thank you. Woof, woof.